In this short video, we're going to learn a technique for factoring polynomials with four terms. And we'll see in the next video that we can also use it for factoring general trinomials. It's called factoring by grouping. And so the idea is that you can get a polynomial with four terms from the product of two binomials. So our goal is to start with four terms and work back and get a product of two binomials. You can't always do this, but you can always try. So let's look at an example. Here I have four terms, xy plus 2y minus 3x minus 6. And so here's the grouping. I'm going to pair them into two groups of two, the first two terms and the second two terms. And then in each pair, I'll look for a common factor to that pair only. So in the first two terms, I have a common factor of y. And in the second two terms, I have a common factor of negative 3. Now, you say I could factor out a positive 3, but if I factor out a positive 3, then I'll have a negative x, and I don't want to have a negative coefficient on the variable. And so I'm going to factor out the negative 3. And now I should check. I have two binomials, and they should have the same terms. In the first pair and from the second pair, I should get the same terms, x plus 2. So I'm not done yet. This is our only our first step. The second step, because remember, we want to write this as the product of, product of two binomials. One of the binomials we already found. It's x plus 2. And in fact, formally, we consider this as a common factor. And if I were to factor it out, what would be inside the other set of parentheses. I would have a y and a negative 3. So these common factors give me the terms in the other binomial. All right, let's look at another example. Here I actually have a cubic. I'll go ahead and start by pairing them up. First two terms, last two terms, first two terms, the common factor is m squared, and the second two term has a factor, common factor of 2. And I see that I get the same thing in parentheses, which means that I can continue and finish it up. My other set of parentheses will have m squared plus 2. And as always, you could go back and check your answer by using FOIL to see that you get these four terms. All right, so we want to factor completely. Now here I have u to the power of 4. I also have some big numbers, which makes me think, you know, or reminds me, that I should always be looking for a common factor. And indeed, here I can save some work because there is a common factor of 2u that gives me, inside the parentheses, still four terms, but with smaller coefficients. might be easier to work with. So inside the parentheses, I pair them up. The first term has a common factor of 3u squared, or the first pair has a common factor of 3u squared. And in the second pair, it may not be clear if I want to factor out a 4 or a negative 4, but I'm going to factor out a negative 4 again because I want to have a positive number multiplied by u. So now after I do that, I, have, I get my check. Inside the parentheses, I have 5u minus 1 from the first pair. From the second pair, 5u minus 1. That's one of my binomials. The other binomial will have terms 3u squared minus 4. All right. So here we have another um, 
four term polynomial. Let's break them into two groups of two. And in the first pair, I'm going to factor out the poor p, four p squared. In the second pair, the only thing I can factor out is one or negative one, but I want to factor out a negative one. So I have a positive p inside the parentheses. So again, p plus one, p plus one. That's one binomial. The other binomial will be four p squared minus one. And so here's a word of caution. I'm not done yet. This is not factored completely. The instructions will always say factor completely. Well, what else can I factor? Well, I can't factor p plus one, but I can factor four p squared minus one. That is the difference of two squared. The first term is the term 2p, all squared. And of course, the second term is 1 squared. So factored completely, I would have 2p plus 1 times 2p minus 1, and then times p plus 1. So in summary, when we have factoring by grouping, we have to get to four terms. If we have four terms, we separate them into two pairs. In each pair, we look for a common factor. Both pairs should have the same binomial in parentheses. If they don't, then you may be dealing with something that can't be factored by grouping. The terms outside the parentheses form the second binomial. And of course, you want to look for a common factor and check that you have factored the polynomial completely.